sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? So I just wanted to make a little quick video on Payday Crime War. It's, uh, I believe it's in beta currently on Android. I believe iPhone had its beta already, so if you're on iPhone, you cannot play it currently. At least that's what I believe, because I currently, well, I recently tried to have a friend download the app on their iPhone so we could play together, and they couldn't download it. So I'm just assuming here that it's only on Android for now. But right now it's in beta, and I just wanted to talk about the game a bit because I've been pairing up with some people that don't really seem to get the message, and it it really it drags me down because it's a team-based game. So basically, I know people will say that this game is basically pay to win, which I could see how it is, and I have faced some people where I'm all like, I'm pretty sure these guys paid for these weapons because there's no way they got these that early. But then as I kept playing, I realized that they probably earned that shit because I ended up earning that shit myself. <laughs> so basically your goal for this game is to get the best gear possible. So some characters share gear, but... I believe what happened before in the initial alpha or beta is that you were able to switch up any customization that you wanted to for all the characters. So you could play as whoever you want with any ability and setup you wanted. But with this iteration of the beta, they have it set up where you're basically... Every character has their own special set of tools at their disposal. And honestly, I think this is a good idea because in the ranked section, it's harder to cheese it. Because playing in just free play mode, I'm noticing a lot of cheesing. If you have at least two Dallases, you can have the heister team respawning like that. It's not even funny because it's one Dallas is 40% decrease in time. But two makes an 80% decrease. And you could have a third if you wanted. But honestly, I'd save the third and the fourth for some sentry guns. You know what I mean? But yeah, playing the free, free play mode just made it apparently obvious that this game is heavily cheesable. And that's probably why they patched it. Because they can't really have that kind of cheese over in ranked play, you know? Although it would make sense like canonically with the regular payday games because any guy can use whatever the fuck they want I understand that in a ranked setting it needs to be more balanced and this system seems fair to me but basically in this game you earn both gold and regular money gold is used for premium purchases so you can use it to speed up cooldowns or you can use it to purchase more money or you could use it to buy like better safes what i suggest you use the gold for is to use it on whatever safes that you unlock through playing so this game allows you to have up to four safes and these safe slots well they could take up to three well minimum three hours but the longest i've seen a a freaking what's it called Man, I'm horrible at this. The longest I've seen a safe take to drill is 24 hours, but that's... I don't even know what the hell that kind of safe was. I just know that it looked crazy, and it wasn't that purple shit. Because I know the purple one can take 8 hours, sometimes 12, and this safe, I'm pretty sure was supposed to take 12 hours, but I'm not sure if I opened a bunch of drills in the process, so or I opened a bunch of safes in the process, so this one took 24 hours. But I can guarantee you that the longest you'd have to wait is 24 hours, at least in my experience. So saving these gold to unlock the safes faster is your best bet because you can speed up the process and get more safes. And in all honesty, it's up to you what you want to do because it's all preference. That's just my preference. You could, say, use that gold, like, you could farm all that gold and use it to buy 
the best safe or you could use it to buy a specialist safe where it specializes in a specific character. It's up to you in all honesty, but I'd say it's best to just go for just the generic safes that you get at the beginning of the game because you'll be getting a lot of that shit and in all honesty that weight sucks and the faster you can progress the better so you can catch up to the other players so if you want fast progression then by all means just keep on opening up those generic safes as fast as possible and you should be able to catch up to like people that have been playing for a few weeks in about a few days because they probably spent their gold on the like premium safes because that's what I would have done honestly not knowing well if I hadn't had experience in other games like Strike Force and Galaxy of Heroes then I probably would have spent that gold on the fucking premium safes but if you've been in the gaming scene long enough to know how these free to play games work and how their premium currency systems work then you know it's best not to use the premium currency on the premium items. And the same goes for this game. It's honestly pretty amazing. But I'd say once you need about 25 to 50 shards to level up a weapon, that's when I'd say stop using your gold on the generic um, safes. But even then, I still use the um, gold on the generic safes because I'd rather have the 8 hour and 12 hour safe stockpiled rather than the 3 hour saves. But that's just my perspective and everyone else has their own perspective on the game. This is just my tip for those that decide to jump in now or later on in the future. And this can be applied to pretty much any game that has a premium currency. Just look for what you could spend that premium currency on and weigh your choices. Do you want a big batch of good items now or would you rather just spread that premium currency out over a long period of time you know and usually the long game is best because you can stockpile more premium currency as you're using the premium currency and you're not just using it all at once but then again it's different for everyone and this is just how I would recommend like spending your premium currency but that's just me so, I know it's been a while since I last posted, had some technical issues, and, well, it doesn't really matter. I just hope you all have a nice day, and I hope you all stay safe out there.